The Niger Police Force has deployed technology towards handling insecurity in the country with the launch of its Rescue Me app. The app is set to aid the timely arrival of police officers to crime scene anywhere in the country. This development has led to, led to reactions among some Nigerian insecurity experts. Jacinta Obioku reports. With Nigeria battling with insecurity, taking proactive steps is seen as steps in the right direction. It is noted that the new application uses internet services and is global position satellite GSP based. We spoke to a cross section of Nigerians across the streets of Lagos to have their views on the new development. It's a good move actually, but it won't really help for the masses, for people that don't have Android phones and all. And it's not everybody that can afford data. It is meant for the headlights, people that are educated that can that can, that can use applications, understand? What of the downtrodden, what of the masses, what of the, 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 the uneducated ones? This is also the take of the security experts. It ought to have come earlier before now, but there's no, that's, it, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's better now than never. So uh, for me, I think it's a welcome development, but it's also, uh, a question of um, you know managing it because the problem has always been capacity of the personnel to manage such um, facilities. A lot of the banditry and criminality issues that we're talking about happen they happen in remote villages. A significant uh, population of those remote villages are living under abject poverty. The phones they can afford, if at all they can afford phones, are not smartphones. And so the usage of apps is impossible for, for them. According to Kabiru Adamu, it's not only the place that should ensure a wide reach and accessibility of the app, but also government and the telecommunication operators. This is the responsibility of government to work with these telephone companies to expand their reach. If they don't come second, then they are the third highest revenue generating uh, industry in the country and so it's not rational it's not logical that they are making this profit and yet they are not investing in infrastructure rescue me up highlights eight different types of alerts in emergency cases like homicide medical situation rape assault robbery kidnapping domestic threats burglary and violence Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.